Hello again, welcome back to my workshop. I've been working on getting scrolling working in Next Basic, and I think I got it set up so that I can show you. So let's take a look. First thing that we need to do is make some tiles and then lay them out. So we're using Remy's tools just like before. And I made a set of tiles uh, that are just numbers one through to 40. And I painted the background black and we've got the white text. Then I created a 16 by 16 pixel uh, tile map, 40 by 12. So it's the full height of the spectrum screen, but it's wider. And to make it easier to show you, I drew in the numbers one through to 40 so that we can see exactly what's going on rather than trying to work out with some kind of map or something. So uh, we download the sprite file and we download the map file and then upload them just like we've done in other examples. So I was trying to base my code from the smooth tile scroll dot bass, uh, which is on the next SD card. And first I couldn't get it to work in C-Spec and uh, in the process of trying to get this working, I managed to erase my uh, my next image. So be careful if you are looking at any of these, um, C-Spec doesn't support layer arrays. So after kind of looking through these and looking at some other examples, I just decided to just try some things on my own. So I've got, uh, I've got a couple of programs that we can take a look at. So the first one is just drawing the tiles on the screen. So we, uh, we load in our uh, sprite for the tiles, put them in bank 14, set the tile bank to 14. Then we load in the actual map, putting that in 15. We set up the dimension for the tiles. So we're using bank 15, it's offset of zero, it's 40 wide, 16 by 16 pixels. That will set up all our memory and tell it how big to set up the array for the tiles. The first section here is just going to draw them on the screen. So I'm going to I'm going to stop it at the end of there, and we'll just put in a slightly bigger one. And so we're doing from zero to fifteen, and what we are drawing is a section of the tile bank. And the tile bank section that we're drawing is one tile wide, and twelve tiles down, and then we're going to position it on the screen. So it's tile. Uh, tile size, the location in the tile bank that we want to take the one by 12 pixels from. So it's just going to be from zero to 15 with no offset on the Y. And then the position that we want to place it on the screen. And again, it's zero to 15 with no offset on the Y. So that will be the first thing that we're going to do. So let's save and run that. There you can see that it's copied the map that we created in Remy's tool and that I, I drew it out doing down the screen one, uh, one line of 12 pixels at a time. And we get from one to 16 on the screen. So let's say we wanted to change that and we wanted to start later on. So it would be this, and let's say we put uh, X plus 15, that should start at the next screen. So save and run. So there we started at 16 and we've drew through to 31. So it's just changing this, uh, where we're taking the tiles from, but we haven't changed where we drew them on our screen. We're still drawing them in the same place going across the screen. So that's that's taking the tiles from the tile bank and putting them onto our screen. The next part of that is getting the screen to scroll. So if we put our X back to there and just add a pause on there and we will do... So let's run this. So 
We're drawing across the screen as normal, but now we're using the layer at command to move the screen. And what you'll see is that its screen wraps around. So the one is now going from the right across to the left as we scroll that screen around. And we get to 255 and the whole screen is moved from the right to the left. Then the next section is just the, the opposite of that. So it's going from 255 back to zero. Let's take the ports out of there. So we're drawing across. We're scrolling all the way up to 255. We've got to 255. And now we're going back from 255 back to zero. So the screen is now going from the left to the right. And it's just literally lo like looping it around and around. So you see that uh, I've just got it to repeat. So now that will just go from the left to the right, from the left to the right. So the next part is we need to be getting our new tiles introduced into this section that we're scrolling. And what we do is we draw the tiles at the edge of the screen. So if we're scrolling from zero to 255, we will draw a new tile at the end of the screen, but that would be moving. And then we would carry on drawing, if that makes sense. So I've got this second program. It's going to draw the same way at the beginning and uh, I've got the text at the top. So what we'll see is as we're moving the layer across, we'll be using the same tile at command, but where this has got two values that are the same for the source and the destination, the two values are different. And we have a, a value which is the layer position divided by 16 so that we can work out what tile we're at as we're moving across. So uh, let's take off the pause for there. Uh, so um, we have our, our layer loop, not 255. We have our tile offset, which is uh, divided by 16 to get uh, what tile we're at. I then have another variable, which is just a counter from zero to 15. So that when we get to 15, I then draw the tile. We don't want to be drawing the tile every frame that we're moving. We're moving 16 pixels across the screen. Then we're drawing the row of tiles. So that's just a way to count up to 16, draw the tile, then we move the layer. So just like before, we draw the screen across. We have our layer value that's counting up from zero to 255. What we have on the screen now is our tile command. And you'll see that the values at the end are counting up and you can almost see the tiles being redrawn over the top of what's looping. So the 13 disappears off there and is replaced by 29 just there. You saw that last 16. So these, this is this command. It's copy one tile across and 12 down and we copy it from the tile map bank from location 31 and then we copy it to location 15 on our physical screen if we just run that again so 17 18 19 that's correlates to the values that are being drawn there and the second one is the place on the screen. But because the screen is moving from left to right, we're constantly drawing, going across the screen like we did at the beginning of the video. But that's really, that's synchronized to the screen being scrolled, if that makes sense. But you can see this is the command that we're using and how that counts up. If we take that last pause off, 
So now uh, we're going to run the forwards and then we're going to run the backwards. So it draws the screen, moves the layer from 0 to 255, draws the new tile on the right side of the screen, counting up as the screen moves across. Twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. We get to two five five. It's now counting down. And this time, the new tile has been drawn on the left side of the screen. So you can see the tile act command is now the same. The source and the destination are, are, are the same, but it's drawing the tile on the this side of the screen and it's being scrolled across. So it's it's a reverse when it's going. That way, it draws it on this side of the screen. When it's going that way, it draws it on this side of the screen. I'll just set that finish so that you can see that again. 32, and then it starts counting down. So I'm going to stop that because I want to show you the layer dimension so that we can hide the edges of the screen so that we don't see the bits being drawn. So at the beginning, I'm going to put 16 and I'm going to change that to 239. So that should now make the screen slightly narrower. And let's take off the print commands. So this should run a bit faster now. So now we've reduced the size of the screen by a small amount, but that means that you don't see those uh, tiles being overdrawn. And that was running at a slow speed. So if we change that to run at three, You can see that it runs a lot quicker when we're running at the maximum speed. So that was my, uh, that's the second version of this, where we're not moving more than one screen to the right. And let's say we wanted to have an even longer, we want to get that full 40 that I did in the, the map editor. So this still needs a bit of work to go, uh, to go even further, but, um, what I've got is I want to know if we've gone more than 255 and then I have a second variable which um, which is always counting between 0 to 255 regardless of how far off the screen because this time we're counting all the way up to 384 to get the full width of our map but we can't adjust the, the layer to more than 255 in one direction. So we have to, we have, to have one variable which is the full width of the map and another one which is a division of 256. And then we also need to count, uh, factor that in when we are drawing the tiles from our source because our source will use the variable that is based on the, the full width of the map but our destination is always based on the variable which is between 0 and 255. So if we run this now we should be able to uh, scroll all the way across. Um, so no. So 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And now we've gone uh, past the, the width of and now we've gone over the 32, so that's gone past um, the, so that's gone further past a full uh, screen rotation, and like the layer starts again.
but the offset of reading the tile bank doesn't, that carries on. I didn't explain that very well. So in theory, you could just keep uh, scrolling as long as you want. You just need to uh, have the one variable that counts all the way through the tile map. And then you have a second one, which just re like keeps repeating around the width of the, the screen so that you don't try to move the layer further than it will let you. It will just crash the program. Again, I feel like I didn't explain that very well, but um, it's it's kind of complicated because you've you've got the tile screen, which is one length, and then the physical screen, which is another length, and then that's all being offset by the uh, the scrolling, the the wrapping round of the actual layers themselves. So that's that's how I worked out how to do the scrolling. And I'm sure there might be a more efficient way of doing it, but doing it that way was the way that I got to understand it. And um, like looking at these examples, I was struggling, but I was struggling because uh, the, the layer arrays was just crashing all the time. And once I figured out, I didn't need to use the layer arrays. And I did the, the tile map with the numbers so that I could actually see what was being drawn on the screen. Then it all started to make sense. Um, so <laughs> thank you for bearing with me through this. It's been a, a struggle for the last two days to get my head wrapped around it. But doing this today made it all click and then not using the layer arrays. And my code examples will be down in the description. For whatever reason, um, YouTube won't let you put a greater than uh, it calls it calls it a square bracket in the description, so I'll have to be a bit creative. Uh, but that's it for this one. I feel like I haven't explained it very well, but uh, hopefully you have understood it, and I'll see you on the next one.